The Chavano Rock Art Site near Montrose, Colorado is one of the many sites of Ute rock art in the Rocky Mountains. These rock art sites consist of various patterns and images carved onto the rock walls and may represent symbols from Ute life and culture, some dating from thousands of years ago. It's very important that you look at this and put your mind, your thought, your feelings back a thousand years ago. 8,000 years ago, these people were here. You have to put yourself back in that context and think about what's here and go from there on coming up to the present because that's what it represents. The interpretation of those figures, what did it mean 5,000 years ago? You know, why? Who was here? What were they doing? In 2017, Ute elders, scientists, anthropologists, and Ute youth visited the site. It was an opportunity to gain a deeper understanding from the elders and to share the importance of respecting and preserving rock art. The group stopped at several panels along the cliff face, looking over the valley, and discussed the ways traditional Ute knowledge explains the rock art. This is what they want to put down, make a mark here somewhere. Not a big mark, but a certain mark that says something of that individual and that family and the environment that they're in to make that connection with the, the spiritual connection with either the sun or the stars and the moon and the earth and bring it back to here where, it, where it's at, where the essence, where the essence is at. And that way they want to leave it there for somebody else you know that's another part of that understanding what is here is uh maybe people are looking at it and go, oh wow these don't even make sense to me or then you explain this is like well because they're from different time periods and different things were happening in those time periods but the, but because they're all here this was a very important place whatever sacred areas that we have places that we can make an offering whatever sing dance whatever bear dance this is one of those places, so you can thread lightly. You know. And it's good in a different way that um, non-natives are interested in this and they want to learn. If we can learn it, you can learn it and preserve it and present it to whoever wants to know, they want to learn about it. And in, the, in that way, I hope that these people will come to realize that we were here. We were a people, and this is how we live. But we didn't get wiped out, we didn't move away. We're still here. We're still here. <laughs>